Hello everyone, and let's talk about the Vitality function, which is a system I added to RPG Builder. So uh, as you can see, this is only going to be available for uh, uh, stats of type Vitality. So if I select the type Vitality here, you see that we have the Vitality action um, section here. And we, of course, can add as many as you want, as always. And they have two types for now. So uh, let's go to the health and keep it simple for this video. You see that the health is, of course, of type Vitality. By the way, if you're not familiar with what uh, Vitality stats means, it's uh, pretty much your uh, stats such as mana, health, energy, all those kind of stats that goes up and down and that are some kind of resources, you know? So uh, here you see that we have one already for the health, which is um, a Vitality action of type death. So important to note, before this system, death was actually hard-coded in RPG Builder and death was only happening when uh, health was reaching zero. So this was hard coded and there was no way for you unless you change the code for, for you, you know, to make it happen differently. Now, if I actually remove this and save and go in game, the character is actually never going to die. Like the death is not going to be called anymore. It's only going to be called now because there is a vit vitality action of type death, which is set to happen when health, so this stat, reaches zero or below. So here you can see that we have a value, of course. We can decide now if we wanted to, uh, to die when the health reaches um, the number 50 or below. If we would tick this on, it would be 50% or below. Or of course, you can see we have a few op options here. Um, the value type is pretty much the condition that needs to be met uh, for this action to be triggered, right? So we could say equal and require, for example, exactly 50% health to, for this to happen. Or we could say below, but not 50%, but anything below or above, or equal or below or equal or above. So we pretty much have full freedom on when exactly this is happening. For this, we will, of course, keep it uh, to zero, equal and below. So we want the character to die when the health is um, at zero or under. It's never going to go under, but, you know, zero. And by the way, uh, I say character, but this works for any single um, combat unit. So characters, NPC, mobs, boss, whatever. Uh, for this video, to make something a bit cooler than just death, I also want to, to show I want to show you the uh, second type of vitality actions. There are going to be more types in the future, but for now only those two. And the second type is, as you can see, an effect. And this lets you uh, trigger an action, just like we saw before, with all those conditions. But when the action is going to be triggered, when the condition is met, uh, you will be able to apply an effect on your character. Or, of, like I said, the NPC or whatever, right? So, um, in this case, let's say we want to apply the Blessing effect. Blessing is an effect from um, the Cleric, which is just a heal over time. So, it's going to heal our character over time. So, let's go back to Health and add the um, type effect blessing and this let's say i want it to happen when our health is at 50 percent not 50 the value so 50 percent i tick the is percent on and when it is equal or below and we can just save go in game and that's going to work out of the box so we're going to play chmsv we have those two wolf attacking us perfect we start taking damage and um, when the health is going to be at 50%, uh, it's going to be uh, applying the blessing effect. So when it reaches 75 or below, it should start happening. So still not. And now you see that we have the blessing effect, which is healing us over time um, for this value. And you see that it keeps happening whenever you know the condition is met. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I wanted to show in this video. Of course, this uh, example is very simple, but you can see the amount of possibilities up, uh, you know, open to you. Uh, for example, a good um, example I would like to give you is, let's say that we have a rage um, vitality stats. It's not the case here in the demo, but let's say you want a warrior or a berserker to have a rage or pain um, resource. So for example, this resource goes up in combat, maybe it can increase your damage or whatever. But um, if you wanted to, you could make it so that um, when reaching 100%, so equal or above or equal, whatever, um, it could, for example, apply a debuff to a character. So for example, it could reduce the movement speed, it could reduce, I don't know, the damage, or it could increase uh, 
cooldowns of your abilities. It could do all kinds of things. And this, once again, is another thing I added to RPG Builder, which gives you a lot more freedom on how you design your items, your game, and your combat in general. So I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments and on Discord. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.